All right. <clears throat> you know, there's this, this probably no better game for me to play today. Uh, here in Worcester, Massachusetts, it is a hot, hot summer day. Um, and there's nothing I want more than to be here instead. In, in, in the cold depths of Canada, with uh, these blistering winds and snow uh, and, and shaking trees. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's too polar extremes, but I'll, I'll, I'd rather be here than where I really am. Holy crap, this music seems really loud. Uh, guys, if anybody's watching, can you let me know uh, what the sound is like? Let's check this thing out here. The sound is really loud. No, we do not want... There we go. Wow. Boy, the sound just kind of gave up on us altogether. That was a short loop. Hey, thank you, Dramasidal25. I appreciate that. Uh, Node-based teleportation. Excellent, Led Zesty. Thank you so much. Uh, we do not want... Yes, you're here. Fantastic. We don't want... We we do want free movement. Yes, we do. Uh, crosshair disabled. Head bob. Eh, I'll take head bob, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, button prompts, sure. Tool to... Yeah, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Let's apply all these settings here. Uh, so this is... Uh, Cone has been available on the PlayStation Store for quite a while. Um, I want to say, say, like, a year... Uh, and all sorts of stuff here. It doesn't look like anything is uh, extremely important, so let's start this game up. Let's play it. Uh, now, this is sort of... Uh, we'll just start a new game here. I, I, I tried to start this yesterday before the VR patch was actually available. Um, but we'll... Uh, here, you know what? We'll, let's delete the one save game I have. Ah, yeah, screw it. Uh, so this is this is a game that I uh, I played very very little of uh, when it first came out because because uh, VR was already out and I was trying to maintain interest in non VR games. Uh, what's up, Polish Paul? I'm I'm glad you love this. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm, uh, whoop. all right, in northern Quebec. It's like Carl Fulbert sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Yeah, I don't think anyone knew this was coming, and I think that's the cool part about it. Oop. It's going to take a second to learn how this works. They had set up to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. Seriously, just patch everything. What's the problem? This looks fantastic. I'm doing pretty good, Paul. Uh, is it this? Is, it seems like it only plays with one move controller. When the roads were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to oh, ignore nope, those here we go. entirely. And I have two hands. Oh, hold on a second. All right, well, let's see. What's up, Neil? How you doing, buddy?
All right, let's see if we can't figure these controls out. Oh, 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 what was that? Here we go. All right, is there only quick turning? See, I'm 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 discovering this with you guys. I, I don't I, I don't I don't have time to play this on my own and then I and then and then tell you guys about it later. I, you you guys have to come along for the ride. Come along for the ride and and, just, and play it with me for the first time here. Uh, quick turning only. Good to know. I don't, you know, like, for, this is a $15 game and a $5 patch. Uh, I'd pay more than $5 to get all my favorite games in, into VR. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. Now I gotta, there we go. Gotta learn how to interact here. Should we, should we go up to the top of that tower and see if anyone's around? Locomotion feels okay. Uh, obviously, quick turning only, as, as Paul just told us. We can take the bottle with us. Yeah, there's a bundle on uh, there's a bundle on the uh, the U.S. store too. Uh, I could be wrong. I thought it was twenty bucks. I didn't think the bundle actually saved you anything, but uh, but but I could be totally wrong about that. Um. Obviously, I, I would definitely prefer... Oh, yeah, it looks like we're doing a little bit of head turning here as well. Uh, there you go. Yeah, it probably translates to, uh, to something very similar. All right, we got, we got some stuff here. Can't take any of these tools, it looks like. What's up, that guy as well? I mean, seriously. Uh... Well, I, I just started, Will. Um, I will tell you what I like about this is that this is a game I had already downloaded. This is a game I already paid for. I paid 15 bucks back when it came out last year. And, um, and, and the fact that anybody's offering... It, it, you know, and, and it's a game I probably, it's a game I probably paid uh, or played for like a half an hour. And, uh, what's up, Neo? Thanks for joining the live stream. It's a game I probably played for like a half an hour on a standard television, uh, and, and would never have ever gone back to to play. Um, but, but with, uh, but with, but to pay, I would pay five, I'd pay ten dollars, I'd pay twenty dollars, um, depending on the game, to, uh, to, to, to get any game into VR. Um, so th that's my message to developers, is, uh, is, is this is pretty damn cool, you know. Everything's everything looks kind of blurry, um, and it, it's not great looking, but I don't even care. Carl was meeting his client at a store near this area. He was on the right track. All right, let's see. Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. If it's if it's gonna if 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 developers are like oh it costs too much money. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. <laughs> All Hamilton right. is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. This is a funny ass narrator, man. If it costs too much money to develop a new game for VR, and this is possible. Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. PSVR is totally worth the money. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. This is great, man. 
hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. Uh, see, I, I am driving. The industrialists um. had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target become the book well so driving driving is a little bit different in this game uh, what, I, what I was just doing until the game took over uh, <laughs> I'm assuming that's like sports or something uh, soccer football football soccer same thing right uh, Paul have fun man thanks for thanks for dropping by uh, so how so how uh, driving was working there was I was holding the trigger down on the right move controller to, to go um, and uh, and then using the top two face buttons to Our turn left and right. Get out of there. The cold Is that portal player? Required urgent care. What's up, Justin? Yeah, this is this is now available in the U.S. Um, and uh, Buddy Bobby GameCat, what's happening, buddy? You know, it's 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 blurry, but but it looks good, man. It looks good. I'm 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 real happy to say that it's a, despite a little bit of you know low resolution uh, blurriness, it's 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 a good looking game. No, it looks it looks good. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. What was the open? Can I open the trunk? Yeah, the blur blurriness does kind of suit the atmosphere. It's 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 all right. You know, it's it's windy. It's blustery. Um, it's all good. Okay, I don't know why those little things didn't seem to be popping up before. Anything else around here? Doesn't really look like it. I don't really care. I'm just gonna kind of walk around and explore. Um, deep in the country, damn. his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. His life depended on it. Oh, so this is kind of like my item, my item box. All right. Well, I don't really need this yet. I'll just back out of here, and uh, I'll come back if I need to. Um, yeah, there, there's, there is a bundle, guys. Uh, I think the bundle will save you a buck or two, maybe. Um, but, but like I said, I already own this game, so, uh, so it was nice to say, hey, guys, for anyone who already owns the game, you don't have to pay all over again. Uh, here, here's your, here's your five or six dollar patch, and, uh, yeah, maybe I should run back, because that, that was an invisible wall there. Uh, in the U.S., uh, I went to the I went to the PSVR section, and it was and it was right there on the front of the page. Um, but uh, but that was that's in the U.S. I don't know where you are, salsa ketchup. Oh, oh, I, I didn't I didn't realize this was a survival game. All right, so I gotta apparently I gotta make sure that I stay warm. Uh, so this is Skyrim, Quebec. Yeah, kind of right. Even better than he had hoped, Carl Faubert had succeeded once more, and was now on his way to new adventures. Uh, so I'm I'm going to assume I can play this with the Dual Shock Four because the original game uh, in non VR was uh. Did you? Guys Oh, it's, it's telling me what I'm missing to start a fire. I'm like, oh, okay, there are, it's like some sort of crafting system, I suppose, if you want to call it that. Um, so I guess I got to go back out and find more materials. Uh, the original game was DualShock 4 supported, so I'm assuming that if you wanted to play this with a DualShock 4, you could. Um, but I cannot promise you anything because this is the first thing I tried. You know, I'm a big fan of the move controllers.
Yeah, I gotta say, uh, I, I don't think I've tried Oculus. I think I've tried Vive quite a few times because of uh, because of all the. Anytime we go to like a trade show, anytime we go to a, a game convention and stuff, it seems like they're using uh, a Vive um, to to show off their games, and I don't know why that is, but uh, nothing up here. Great. I, I don't. I you know if everyone I've talked to uh, who who has had tons of experience with all the different headsets always says the same thing. Um, that, uh, and, and that's that PlayStation VR is their favorite, whether it be because of the game selection, the comfort, uh, the, uh, just the ease of use, the, the cost. The flames won't grow without some help. Other materials were required. Uh, you know, there was like a whole shitload of logs over here. Uh, can, I just, can I just grab logs from this log pile? Is that what I'm... I don't really know what I'm, what I'm doing. What's up, Twix? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything by not having the other headsets. It's uh, because <laughs> Beat Saber. Well, that'll change soon, right? I, I am excited for Firewall Zero Hour, and I, and I'll. But it, but the, the one downside being, uh, I don't think there's no single player campaign in that game, right? So uh, so I'm like I'm ex I'm excited to to play it, but man, like. Um, I really feel like I'm missing something crucial here. Um, as much as I love multiplayer games, I, I, I definitely, I definitely want. I wish there was like a single player campaign to to like learn the ropes. Um, I hate diving right in and not knowing what I'm doing and always dealing with people who are way better than I am from the get go. Nintendo, I thought Nintendo's press conference was good, uh, and and the reason is is because. Uh, the reason I thought it was good was because Nintendo knows what they're doing. Nintendo knows... There it is! I was looking for that icon. That's bullshit. They totally should have given me that icon before. N Nintendo knows their audience, man. Nintendo is... Uh, they're, they're not... They're not competing with PlayStation or, or Microsoft. They are... They, they are... They're supplementing... They're supplementing the video game division, is what they're doing, right? So it's like... Okay, here we go. There we go. I'm a fire starter. Come on, who hasn't made that joke a million times? Let's warm up by the fire. Now that we've started a fire with you, what do you think we can do? Anything? Uh, so... So yeah, but as far, as far as like seeing a ton of Smash Brothers and stuff like that, this is what this is what Nintendo fans want. If you have a Switch, I highly doubt that the Switch is the only video game system that you have. Um, so you usually have a, 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 a you usually have a Switch and a PlayStation Four, a Switch and a um, an Xbox One. Uh, so N Nintendo is just giving Nintendo fans Nintendo games, uh, and I think that's totally fine. I have a Switch. Uh, I don't use it because of my PlayStation VR. It's the only thing I really play. Uh, yeah, this so uh, this seems like it's a sur survival game. I got you, bud. Um, it, 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 smooth turning is there's no option. Uh, take it easy, Justin. Thanks for your uh, tuning in. Have fun. Uh, so. <clears throat> Yeah, it's cool, man. Portal Player, I mean, Nintendo's show is not going to be for everyone. Nintendo hasn't be, been for everyone for quite a while. They, they, they adhere to a very specific demographic these days. There we go. Now I can start lots of fires. Look at this. Uh, so, yeah, click turning. Uh, Adrian, yeah, I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning what this is right now as you watch. Um... It started off, it seemed like it was going to be kind of like walking simulator-like, um, which it seems to be, exploration adventure game, uh, but there do seem to be survival elements. Uh, we had to go collect some wood and different things to start a fire. We've now started two fires. 
Um, I'm not really good at the controls yet, so... Here's everything we have. Okay. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting. All right, so now what? Now, uh, let's see what else we can do. Started two fires. Let's go back outside. It, it seems to take a little while for the icons to pop up when you need them. There it is, see? I've just stood, <laughs> been standing here this whole time. And then the icon to open the door popped up. Obviously a, a casualty of, of porting this over to VR. But a casualty I'm willing to accept because for five bucks, I basically got a brand new game. I'm going to head back up here only because I don't know what else to do. Now that I started a couple fires. Now, buddy Bobby, that was the interesting thing is, uh, you know, we always, uh, we, we always say the same thing on, on PSVR this week, this week. Uh, and, and that's that, uh, only Sony knows what games are coming when. We do our best to, to do all sorts of research and reach out to the developers and, and talk to the community and, and figure out um, and, and figure out what is coming when. Uh, but 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 the Sony is like super secretive, and and so things like this that we could all be wicked excited for are are just they 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 fly under the radar until the absolute last second. So we don't get to promote it. We don't get to we don't get to have a review ready. We don't get to do anything. Uh, which is which is a real shame because because when a game like this pops up on the store it, it's it's uh it, it's it's there's no time to prepare for this uh so um so it it, it kind of sucks when you know you, like last night I, I was up until i was up until three o'clock in the morning getting my exorcist v r uh review done uh but but everything's everything's scheduled here to the best of my abilities, and then and then things like this pop up at the last minute, and uh, and, and you get you just got to make it happen, you know. All right, so let's uh, no, we don't. Let's not take the fire starter. Let's. I mean, it's not saying I'm running out of room or anything. What what do you think all this is? At the very bottom of the screen, you think these these are. Oh, it's a, it's a scale. It's 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 how much everything weighs. So this is like my capacity. Um, thank you guys. I I, I appreciate the compliments. Um, so I'm I'm playing this on a pro. But thank you very much. I'm playing this on a pro, but I don't I don't think this is pro optimized because it just kind of has that blurry, like brook original Brookhaven look to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, is Pepsi Kona a thing, Kevgret? All right, I officially don't know what I'm doing. So, down there is where we came from, the house over there. And this is some pretty strong head turning. I, I am unfamiliar with, with somebody named Frank. Who is that? Uh, Adrian. Yeah, my uh, my gamer tag is uh, that would be dark. It's the same thing as my Twitter handle and everything else. Um, yeah, we got a trigger here, buddy Bobby. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Fucking love you guys so much. Coffee flavored soda. Holy shit. That sounds horrible. Does that sound horrible to anyone else? I'm gonna check this like little roundabout here. Looks like a whole lot of nothing. And then I'm gonna go back in the cabin and see if there's like some kind of way to to, to call someone or something. I I don't. I have no idea. I'm, I'm wondering why there'd have to be a fire back here if we already had a fire inside. 
I don't know who Frank is. Uh, I'm unfamiliar with, with, with such a person. All right, well, back into the cabin we go. Unless anyone's played this before and has some advice for me. I know Polish Paul was in the chat earlier, and uh, he's the only one I know that has played more of this than me. Let's see. Let's 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 see if we can get any icons to pop up around here because it, it does seem like they're a little bit glitchy in terms of when they pop up. I set a fire in the cabin. We get that going right here, Kevgrit. So so far so good. We got a fire going outside as well. That's also good. Morgan, this is called Kona. It's uh, an adventure mystery game. Um, <clears throat> I haven't went to the gas station yet. What gas station? Hmm. Uh, adventure mystery game. This obvious. There seem to be uh, some. It's glitched. What? What? What was his glitch? That doesn't instill me with much faith that... Oh, Mike, well maybe you can help me out then. Microsoft 1E3, hands down. The heat meter did not register. I, I don't think getting back in my truck... I mean, I might be able to get back in it. it. Sounds like it's still running. No, Adrian, uh, so... Uh, I think... So I, ha I have no idea when Torn is coming out. I wish I did. Um, I don't have time for non-VR games anymore. I will say that my Vita is getting a little bit of use. Like, right before I go to bed, I, I usually play some uh, some Splunky or some Down Downwell. Um, those, those are two games that you can drop into. And if you have a good run, you can, like, play for 20 minutes. Uh, but, you know, if you have a bad run, you can play for, like, a, a couple minutes. Uh, so sometimes, sometimes I get to play my Vita just before bed. Um, but other than that, it's all PlayStation VR all the time. You know, I mean, not only am I obsessed with the platform, but I'm obs I'm obsessed with my YouTube channel. Um, so there's just kind of that. So Microsoft. So when Microsoft did their show at E3, I'm I'm not going to make time for Red Dead. I'm <laughs> sorry, or Spider Man. I I have like strangely very little interest. Um, I will say Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, is is the game I'm most excited for, uh, and that's the one thing that might make me put down the VR headset. It keeps saving. It, does, it, it keeps getting a little auto saving notification. So when Seraphim did this, did it, he reset because of what's happening to me right now because nothing was happening, or or was there, or is there something different that happened to him? What's up, Jay? How you doing, buddy? Couldn't get into the truck. Need to warm up. Okay, so he was having a... I, I've been playing for maybe, what, 10, 15 minutes? If you can't get back in the truck. Alright, so apparently... Then let's, let's figure that out. That's where I need to be going. All right, I'm heading to the truck. I got my game cast with me. We're all gonna pile in together. We're gonna get back into the truck. Oh, 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 we got the icon. See, that icon was not there last time. Heal his wounds and warm up his body before going any further. Okay, well. Do I have any plans today? Uh, sure, I have plans today. I have plans every day. Um, of course, they're all without parole related. I don't have any actually good plans. 
I'm also without my Jeep. I had to go back into the repair shop. Um, so I, I am stuck at home. Alright. Let me go warm myself by the fire here. Well, Jay, we're figuring that out together here. Um, I'm, uh, this is this is a major icon glitches for sure. This is it seems like it's a bit of a survival game, but mostly a, a walking simulator, mystery adventure game. So how do I heal my wounds? It says I have to heal my wounds and warm up. What's uh, let me check my let me check my inventory here. Chains, log, poured film, matches, empty bottle, pincher. All right. So so what do you guys think? Should I restart? Is is that the impression you guys are getting? Obviously. I don't know anything that's going on. Oh, consumables. Can cigarettes locked iron box. I don't have a I don't have the key to open the locked iron box. Equipment. Let's see here. Flashlight. Nope, hey. Alright, we got a nice yeah, the bundle includes the add-on. The bundle, the, the, why it's a bundle is, uh... Let's check our map here. Alright, I guess I'm going to restart, because that, that seems to be the general consensus. Uh, yeah, the bundle is the game and the VR patch. That, those are the two things included in the bundle. Um, so... What's up, Thomas? All right, so I mean, I guess, I guess we're gonna restart because nothing else seems to be triggering here. I, there's, I, I can't get in the truck though, but I, it won't let me get in the truck. It says I need to heal my wounds. All right, I'm gonna try to get in the truck one more time. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna reset the game. Uh, and, and it won't take me long, obviously, because now we know what we're doing. I'm old Greg. What does that mean? Alright. Options. Main menu. Yes. Hey, where's my coffee? People keep taking coffee away from me. Oh, wait, so... So I shouldn't start the game over. I should just reload my game. I'm down with that. I'll give it a shot. I'll do that before I restart restart completely. Excellent. Jay Dow, everything's better in VR. Don't you know this by now? Everything, even coffee is better in VR. I'm definitely curious to see how the, the DualShock 4 works with this game. Because at this point, with this style of game, I, I would I'd much rather kick back on the couch and... Oh, it was. Oh, good to know. Oh, oh, did you see that little... What's up, Ash? How you doing? Uh, Thomas, it, the controls take a second to get used to, uh, but uh, but but once you get used to them, it's uh, it, it's pretty good. No gumballs game room. This was not previewed. This was absolutely. Um... <laughs> Thanks, Kevgret. Yeah, the heat meter. I didn't even know there was a heat meter, and then there it was when it as soon as we loaded the game. So let's go hop in the truck as uh, as as we were told to do. Wait, that that notice notification didn't even pop up before. All right. Ah. All right. Let's go stand by the fire. 
warm ourselves up. The part I don't like is that they keep saying heal. You know, I gotta heal my wounds, but there's no like healing items. I'll stand by the fire for a bit, and we'll go check our heat meter. It says it's going up. Uh, the immersion's fine. Uh, it's 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 very it's very blurry. It's very low resolution, um, but but I don't mind it at all. Uh, the immersion is. Ah, a med kit! A med kit! God damn it. <laughs> Alright. So, it says like a little moon above the fire symbol. Or a little eye? What, what do you think that is? It, it has a bit of a Skyrim look to it for sure. I'll give you that. Let's go check the back of the truck. D-pad dungeon. It has been a while. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's withdraw. It's just a fire starter. There's no med kit. What's up, Dennis? Yep, that seems to be the question of the day. Uh, this is a this is an adventure game, a mystery game, uh, a point-and-click adventure. Uh, a little bit of survival uh, elements here. Oh, hey, 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 hey! There, there's a med kit there. How do we open the back of the? Look, no symbol. There it is. Do you see? Look at that. So, Mike, you were totally you totally nailed it. You totally nailed it, Mike. Don't you worry about a thing. It was just the wrong car. So now we have to go into our inventory and use the... Yeah, the icon lag is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Where the fuck is the med kit? Where'd it go? Oh. Hold on a second. It's probably in consumables. I mean, I can I can try it. I don't know if it's going to require a, a, it. will not move without help. Well, what kind of help are we talking about? Do I need to push it? Oh, 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 oh. There's another icon there. Look, where'd this icon come from? Lay chains. See, none of these icons popped up initially. I got the chains, but that icon never popped up until just now. dark in here. Oh, there we go. Alright. Looks like we are good to go. Absolutely. That that was some uh, good game cat teamwork. Adrian, yes, I'm, I'm going to wait tables till the day I die, it seems. Definitely uh, still waiting tables. Luckily, it's, it's one of those things that like I strangely like to do. This is just like my Jeep. Spread out on a few acres of untouched forest, What's up, Coco? everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. Whoa, 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 whoa! was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. What's up, madman? No, I'm steering. I'm steering, but I'm, I'm not using, like, in the in the way that you'd think. What's up, David? I'm, whoop. I'm steering using the, uh, the top two... the top two face buttons. I'm steering using the top two face buttons and, uh, using the trigger to accelerate. Uh, so it's not, you know, like, it doesn't... I, and I'm not in control of any of this. This is all automatic right now. I, Daniel, I have not tried Sculptor VR yet. The pumps 
wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. You're welcome, Sean. Thanks for tuning in. The milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Something fell to the bottom of the box. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. But the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. He does kind of talk strange, doesn't he? This this is you if, if you already own Kona, uh, then this is a this is just like a five dollar patch. So you can just download the update. Um And, and I'm, I'm assuming you can use the Dual Shock 4 Madman, but um, I started it with I started up with the move controls, and I haven't tried anything else yet. The original game obviously used the Dual Shock 4, so uh, here we go. Equipment. That's what I'm looking for. Twenty dollars for the bundle, fifteen dollars for the game, five dollars for the patch. What do you mean? What did they patch? <laughs> they patched the entire game and made it VR. Alright, we took a picture. I guess that'll have to do. Not exactly... Oh, there we go. I can kind of see it. I prefer using the moves in VR for the most part, but this game being like kind of like a laid-back point-and-click adventure, um, I think for this I would prefer the DualShock 4, um, because I don't feel like I'm interacting a ton with the world, to be honest with you. Uh, how do I put this stuff away? Oh uh, no, Adrian, this has been out for like a year, I think. Uh, like I think it came out in March of last year. So uh so yeah, this was this was a very unexpected uh surprise. I, I bought this game when it first came out. What's up, Jason? I bought this when it first came out, and I remember talking about it on the Gamescast, um before before we turned into a PSVR gamescast. Um Mysterious unbranded cans. Oh mysterious. Uh, and I remember saying, hey, this looks like a game I'm I can't wait to get into. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Uh, and then I never, and then I never went back to it. I never made it this far, even. Uh, and this is only like 15 minutes into the game. What's up, Wolfie? Uh, I still buy non-VR games on occasion. I, I have a, I have an obsession with with my Vita collection at the moment. I'm trying to collect Vita games. Jason, this is 15 bucks for the game and five bucks for the for the VR patch. So this is uh, 20 bucks. Um, there's a bundle, I think it saves you a buck or two. To open the cash register, punch the price, two numbers minimum, press sale, two numbers, sale, crank two times, oh god, I hope we get the park, that would be the only thing that saves that game. Then punch the machine, alright, ready? Two numbers, sale, crank two times, punch. Let's see if we can, uh, it's beginning to sound like work. How did, why did the camera pop back up in my hands? I'm really bad at these controls. I, I wouldn't call this amazing. I would call this good and a, and a nice, pleasant surprise. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not like an action-adventure game or anything like that. Alright. That number... That number... Um... You wanna hit it again? Hit it again. I want to turn the crank. Why can't I turn the crank? Oh. Yeah, the Vita is a phenomenal machine. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Yeah, 
Yeah, obviously. So, so if anyone's asking if they should buy this game, first of all, Jay, this this is a dark area of the game, obviously. Um, but I can see everything totally fine. Uh, the stream is probably darker than. Um, Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization: if Hamilton was dead, oh, then yeah, they're like use use a flashlight. That's a good idea. I, I would say I would say this is a a unique game for PSVR, and, and I'm very very glad we have it. Um, Hey, Madman, thanks, as Ooh, always, thanks for stopping in. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. I always think my Vita doesn't work, um, or, it do, or it's not, or or that it's not charging. Uh, but but because because the charge lights are so strange, um, like it won't even like light up at first. Uh, dude, this has been out for like a year, so I wouldn't expect it to get a. I wouldn't expect it to get a physical release. It, it might. Who knows? You know. Um, Perp Games is really good about publishing PlayStation VR stuff that you would not expect to get a physical release. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this is this is cool. I, I'm, I'm very curious to see where this goes. There we go. That was interesting. <laughs> I just had to keep pushing buttons till it finally opened. All right. <clears throat> Flashlight's pretty handy. Uh, Adrian had asked, uh, Crystal, the visuals are the visuals are okay at best, <clears throat> but they work. Okay, I think there was there a key. Yeah. Now we're. The monks wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they have yeah. to be switched on from inside the store. Now that I have the key, that should be easier. Um, <clears throat> Adrian had asked why I decided not to rate my games with a number. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I definitely... Because uh, I, I, don't, I, don't I don't think games should be rated with a number. I don't, I don't think that's fair to the people who make the game. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that's... Oh. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, uh, was it about bears? Seriously. Carl uh, was no electrician. Jesus Christ. But he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Uh, we don't. I don't. I don't think what Des and I do uh, is... Is, is rating games with numbers. We use numbers, but we could easily say A, B, or C. Jason, like I said, this came out March of last year. Uh, we could we could easily say our rating is A. This is you know buy this game immediately. B, wait for a sale. And C. It, so just because we use we say one, two, and three, uh, I think that's it's not rating it with numbers. I think any any person who makes something, any person who creates uh, art, uh, I think it's I think it's unfair. To uh, oh my god, I think it's unfair to put a number on it because it's it, it it's like even movies and stuff like that. It just doesn't it doesn't feel right to put a number on it. You can you can talk about it and give your impressions, and if you're good enough at giving your impressions, then uh, then then that should be all it takes. Um. To to, con to convey your thoughts, uh, this is, I'm just fucking 
doing random shit now. Uh, that's not to say that we won't use numbers eventually. Uh, I, because, you know, it's. It, I think numbers do convey something that... Hate was in the air. Seems like some villagers barely tolerated each other. Alright, there's, there's a lot going on. Try, trying to listen to the narrator, read your comments, and answer questions. I'm, I'm not doing a good job at this right now. Um, What's up, Troy? How you doing? Yeah, I, I do still play my Vita. And, and, if any, and if anybody keeps asking the same questions, you're not helping out my situation at the moment. I, I can't. It's having a, I'm having oh, a hard time no concentrating. Electric. But he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. All right, so we have to go find some tape. Ah, uh, I... Fuck, now I gotta put my flashlight back on. I really wish I was better at the inventory system, because I know there's... You can just click a couple buttons and probably, um... And probably just bring it up without going into the menu. Let's take a look around, though, and see if we can find some wire. Oh, you know that my, my I think my problem was. Oh, thanks, J Dow. Appreciate that, bud. I think my. Oh, oh, I can't walk over the dead body. Is it seriously? Come on, just hop over him. <laughs> a radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. Yeah, um, I'm I'm, curi I'm curious to know what you guys think of The Exorcist, um, because I will say I had, a, I had a really hard time getting into it because the controls were kind of messy. Uh, these controls aren't terribly good, but The Exorcist was even worse. Um, oh, look at all these drawers that just appeared. A button on the left controller made me put my flashlight away. Hey, we found some tape. Found some matches. We found a piece of paper. Uh, I don't want to read that. Log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch Adrian, of thank you so much. He had just gotten his hands on. We got another key. Hey, Ben Duke. Thanks for joining us for your first PSVR live stream. Uh, this one, this, and this is quite the interesting live stream. I got the narration going on. I'm, I'm trying to read comments, uh, and, uh, and and you know what? Let's let's be fair. I need more coffee in my life. It's right. See right here. That's that's my floor, and that's where my coffee is. Hold on. Oh yeah, everything's better now. All right, let's let's head back out. Um, Mike says to go to the generator, so we're gonna go to the generator. We can't walk over the dead body for some reason, so we're gonna go this way. Yeah, this is definitely more uh, more puzzle solving than Jason W. Thank you for uh, for hanging out. Uh, yeah, I could I could try um, that if we wanted to stop this right now. I don't know where the last autosave was. Carl was no electrician, 
but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Wait, I don't have... Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. I didn't find the thingies? Fine, it's good. Let's take a quick look around here. Is that going to pop up? Is there going to be an icon? Or no? Nope. Alright. So we get the wires, but we do, or we get the tape, but we didn't get the, uh... There we go. Let's get our heat level back up. Alright, so I still need to find one more thing before we can fix the wires. Maybe it's in here. Oh. Holy crap. Whole new location. <clears throat> They're in my truck. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, while I'm here, let's see what I can get. Alright, as soon as, as soon as I fix... What is... Oh, there they are! Woohoo! As soon as I fix this wire and, 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 and know that I've got a save point, I, I will dive back into the main menu and, and hopefully switch controls over to DualShock 4. Uh, and, and, we'll, and we'll see if that's possible and we'll see how that controls. Um, no promises though. I have a lot of games require you to restart the game, which is why I generally don't change control, control schemes uh, midstream. Um, but, but if you guys are interested in seeing that, then we'll try to make that happen. Strangely, it doesn't look like we can open the car door, which... Patiently waiting for an icon to pop up, but I don't think it's going to. Yeah, if, if anybody decides to pick... Uh, that it is a little glitchy, uh, as, as Mike was saying, that maybe the original game was a little glitchy, too. Uh... Adrian, I gotta say, like, for, for games like this, where, like, there's no combat, and it's it's obviously just, like, a lot of laid-back exploration kind of stuff, um, I, it doesn't take me out of the experience. It, 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 it's okay for me. Uh, I've been using a DualShock since, I mean, since PlayStation 1. Uh, that has been my preferred controller. Uh, and so, like, when I, like, even when I'm running around the world of Skyrim, I know it's, like, sacrilege to say this. Like, I like to play Skyrim for, like, ten hours at a time. So I don't want to be, like, swinging my arms and, and doing this. I, I want to kick back and just, like, play a game, like, on my couch, like, as I do as a gamer. Um, and that, that's just me. Uh, if I wanted to get super immersed in Skyrim uh, and play for, like, an hour and, like, you know, do whatever I could, uh, that would be a whole different story. Uh, it moves definitely at a ton to the immersion. Uh, and that's uh, and that's a huge deal for sure. Thanks, Dreamcatcher. Mike, thank you so much. I appreciate your help getting us this far. Um, it's definitely a, a difficult road to uh, to travel. Uh, this game's a little bit glitchier than I expected it to be, but. Uh, but I'm going to give it a pass because because it's a such a nice surprise, man. Um, this this game got new life. It's just been sitting on my hard drive, uh, waiting to be played for all this time. And now that it's got VR support, I'm a totally down. Without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. Oh, let me go check over here. Do I have to turn this key? Uh, Chris, I I don't recommend abduction at all. Uh, to freak the man, oh man, that that is a loaded question. With this game specifically, there's a button to walk forward, a button to walk backwards. Um, 
but there's a but it's 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 different for for quite a few for quite a few games um, sometimes it's you hold the move button down and then you point in the direction you want to walk uh, oh look at this Do you see I walked right up to those and there were no icons and then they popped up after I stared at them for a second what about these can I open these cabinets no they don't look like openable cabinets Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, well, now, now that we got the uh, the generator fixed, uh, I'm wondering if if there was like a, if it saved the game. Uh, I'm assuming it probably did. So the pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar. So in all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Alright, so for some reason we still have to switch these on. <laughs> Alright, Wolfie, take it easy, bud. Alright, maybe I just need to stare at the... stare at this for a little while longer. I mean, I... I I don't I don't know what to say. We fixed the generator and we uh So here's what we'll, here's what we'll do. Since since we get as kind of as far as we n know what we're doing. Uh let's, let's let's attempt to Can we just is there a save game option? No. Uh, Justin, yeah, the game's great. Uh, it's got a, it's got a few glitches. Uh, it takes a while sometimes for, for things to pop up. Um, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna control options. We've got auto save enabled, but that is, that is it for this, huh? All right, go back. Let's go back to the main menu. Yeah, well, we're gonna run the risk that we're gonna lose some progress. But uh, but but for J Dow, we're gonna see if we can use the Dual Shock Four. All right, so let's see what we got here. First and foremost, give me a second here. My Dual Shock Four is over here. Whoa! All right. Well, now that we know what we're doing, hopefully, if we have to if we have to catch up, it won't take very long. I do like the way this looks. The graphics are like low res and blurry, but man, it's, it's still a good looking game. All right, so give me a second here. I'm just gonna turn on. So, here's what we got going on now. The fuck? Alright. So No, Jay, you're 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 crazy. We're never playing we're never playing perfect ever again. Uh <laughs> David, thanks for tuning in on your lunch break, dude. Yeah, this is uh, I, so I'm playing on the pro, but I, I can't imagine, I can't imagine that this is pro optimized. This this cannot be pro optimized because of it looks kind of like Brookhaven-ish, you know? It's kind of uh, blurry. So, all right, here we are using the Dual Shock Four. Our hands now float by our sides. Uh, still click turning. But you know, movement feels a little bit better because it's it's just simpler. 
Uh, let's see what we got here. We, we do have all of our tools to fix this. Get that up and running again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now we got to learn how to use our inventory. I wonder if there's a quick button instead of the... Uh, as far as I know, Jay, no, there's not, but let me just double check with the, uh, with the DualShock 4 here, and, uh, we'll see what we got. It looks like we, uh, graphics options? Nope. This is officially click turn only. <laughs> that icon did seem to pop up better. Uh, oops. Okay, so I pushed up and it brought me to that. Uh, pushed. Oh, right brings up the map. Down brings up the camera. Left brings up the flashlight. All right. Well, so there's our these are quick our quick items right there. Uh, it's good to know that the left brings up the flashlight. That makes things uh, much easier. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get too down on on the whole quick turning issue. Um, considering that it, uh, you know, everything else that we got for for five bucks, <laughs> uh, it would be nice if we had. Hey, John Mac, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for tuning in. Oh, hey, move ladder. Uh, is there stuff up here we're looking for? I guess let's maybe, uh... See, now the icon's gone. No, it's definitely... I totally, totally prefer smooth turning when possible. Um, well, I'm up on top of the ladder. Look at this, on top of the ladder, this smooth turning. <laughs> That's so random. What in the hell do you think we're supposed to be doing up here? Oh. Okay, the icons are not any better. Uh, Penguin, it looks okay. It looks... I've, I've been comparing it to the Brookhaven experiment. Um, it's it's sort of like... Low-res... Brookhaven-y. Are these lighters? Are these Zippos? Why aren't we taking hundreds of these with us? Okay. If these icons popped up faster, this I think everything would be working so much better. Um, so now I'm trying to figure out how to turn the pump on. Uh, I don't know, Boca Boy. This is uh, this is all new to me. This is about a six hour long game, very walking simulator like, very adventure, uh, adventure game, point and click, the whole deal. Uh, which means it's going to be a little on the slower pace side, I uh, mean it's going to be about solving puzzles and probably some frustrating ones. Uh, and the fact that the game glitched out on me early on uh, means that sometimes you don't know if it's the game or if it's you. Yeah, the... Oh, okay. I just see from power line. Wait. Electricity turned off. What? From generator. There we go. Now he's going to flick these, I'm sure. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Fine. Well then let's, here we go. We get the store up and running. <laughs> What's up guy? Fo 1200. Now we can turn the pump on. We can probably get rid of the flashlight now. All right, hey, I'm, I'm finally getting the hang of this, uh, this, this general store. I'm willing to take over ownership and start running it as I see fit. 
any day now. Apparently I'm the only one in this town, so that shouldn't be too difficult. It's my general store. Alright. Well, straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. Alright, now that we learned that the power for the garage and the store couldn't be on at the same time, now let's switch it over and see what's... See if there's anything worth anything in the garage. There we go. We're saving again. I feel like I should run to this, the fire every time I want to save. Uh, apparently that's the saved spot. I did not realize that, although I should have because every time I've walked there, it says... It says that it's saving. I should have known better. The crowbar was stuck under the lift. Oh, we gotta raise the lift. Carl's imposing stature. Car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. Uh, well, I mean, the power's on in here. Yeah, Paul, what are you doing back here? I thought you were watching the game. Alright, there we go. The lift is up. Now we can grab it. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Ah. It would come in handy at some point. So wait a minute. Is there combat in this game after all? Or can I just Or do I or do I just break down walls and shit? I hope there's a little bit of combat, that would be fun. There's probably not. Doesn't feel like that kind of game, but whatever. Alright, we're good to go. I think we're out of here. If I could create a VR game, what would it be? I gotta be honest with you. It would be Resident Evil 2 in VR. Ah, uh, wolves. Because uh, Resident Evil 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. And Resident Evil 7 in VR is one of my favorite games of all time. Thank you, Paul. Good to know. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. So if Capcom just gave me Resident Evil 2 in VR, they would literally be making my, my most wanted game ever. Uh, Fallout 3 or, or a new Fallout game in VR would be would be a close second. Uh, so, yeah, no, Jay, I think uh, I, th I think you, you, you killed it with the DualShock 4 suggestion. Um, it's, uh... I, this driving feels better, locomotion feels better. Uh, everything kind of Carl feels better here. Carl to know the store and its surroundings like the back of his hand. The seeker had sought. If, uh, I'm excited about Resident Evil 2, but I... But, like, I'm only going to be real excited if they actually support... Support it with PSVR. I, I, I want, like, I want to play it. I really do. But... I don't know, like, like games that are non-VR just have, have sort of lost all appeal for me. They're just not as much fun anymore. Um, I, I always start and I'm like, oh yeah, the, I forgot how great games look, and I forgot, you know, blah blah blah, and, yeah, and then like 10 minutes in, I'm like, yep, this just doesn't have the appeal that it, that it once had. So, if Capcom can surprise us, I think, here's the thing, if, if Capcom is all concerned about money, you know, there's not enough people, you know, playing it in VR, then why don't they just do what Kona did, you know, be like, listen, here's your, he, you pay 60 bucks for the game, and then you pay an extra 10 bucks to get a, a the PSVR um, patch. I would totally do that. I would pay 70 bucks. Fuck, I'd pay 80 dollars to get Resident Evil 2 in VR. Yep, RE2 is using the same engine as Resident Evil 7, but they they still need to port the game, even when they use the RE engine. Uh, they still need to port it over to PSVR. Like, it's it's not, like, a hard and fast thing. Um, so, like, if Capcom wants to make money, then by all means... Oh, oh, oh! I'm smashing right into that. Crap. Am I supposed to know where I'm going? I was just driving aimlessly, expecting to just end up somewhere. 
Uh, if Cap One wants, wants to make money, then by all means, charge us for it, man. PlayStation VR is a premium. We, we understand it costs money to, you know, to, to devote people to, to port the game over properly. But we don't mind paying the extra, the extra few bucks to make that happen. Uh, whoever asked about the Exorcist, yeah, I, uh... Oh, wait, we have a button for, uh... Yeah, let me pull over. And, and look at the map responsibly. Alright, so where am I on this map is the question. Oh, I'm not... Am I that little yellow... Damn, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Um... This is interesting. I'm not totally sure where I want to go. Can I drive and keep the map open? I can. Cool. Uh, the Exorcist, I gotta say, so if there's anyone curious about the Exorcist, Legion VR, um, I've gotta say that, like, it was, it was fucking terrifying. It was terrifying. Uh, people keep, oops, <laughs> people keep asking me if it's better than Resident Evil 7, and I'm like, yeah, it's, 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 it's not better than Resident Evil 7 as a game. What's up, Joe Monahan? How you doing, dude? <laughs> this is like the 17-point turn. Uh, Resident Evil 7 obviously is the far better game. You know, there's no question about that. Uh, there will never be a question about that. But... I wonder, I wonder where we are. <laughs> But, but the Exorcist basically, like, decided to, like, eschew, like, being a game. And, and focus completely on basically being a walking simulator that, that's just fucking scary as all hell. Um, which which I, I do admire to a certain extent. It knew what it wanted to be, and, and that's exactly what it is. Um, here, let's get out of the car. How do we do that? There we go. Uh, so it is, it is, I think, scarier than Resident Evil 7 for what it is, uh, but it's only scary for an hour. Uh, it's an expensive hour, but it's, but it's a really good hour. Alright, there doesn't seem to be any... That icons. That has obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic. But he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. With that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. Okay, this, uh, I don't think I don't think this game is pro supported. This, this is pretty uh, low resolution. What's up, Ochento So? Oh, man, I think I fucking de demolished your name. Sorry. I also missed a ton of comments right there. I, I apologize. The place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Boiled cauliflower? What the fuck does boiled cauliflower smell like? Um, Joe, I think Joe asked if this was a surprise release. Yeah, we didn't we didn't hear about this. Invaded the minds of men, even in the remotest of places. We didn't hear about this coming out until uh, until like yesterday morning on the on the European PlayStation blog. Um, it's just like, it's, I mean, pretty crazy. It's weird. Like there there hasn't been a there hasn't been a drop on the US uh, blog for a couple weeks now. So it's like an interesting table over here. Hey, Blink, how you doing, buddy? The rag reeked of fermented vomit. Fermented Carl vomit. How could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. Fermented vomit. Uh, Oracle of Jamie. The uh, so the game is good, but. I do, uh, I, I mean, it definitely is going to come with some warnings here. That it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a good game, 
uh, puzzle solving adventure game, uh, obviously, but but it's it's a little bit glitchy. I've already had to reset once, and and the fact is is you don't know that it's glitching until you realize you just can't go further. You're like, oh, I can't go further, uh, and it took somebody in the comments to be like, hey. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all-surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. It took somebody in the comments to be like, hey, um, this, it's glitching, you have to, you have to reset. Um, which, which, which is kind of a shame, but also, uh, also things... Things that are important around the environment, they don't seem to... What's up, Matthew? They don't seem to... Uh, the icons don't pop up immediately. They seem to be okay right now. But sometimes you'll stare at something, and then it takes a while for the, the icon to pop up. So you don't... You might miss something important just because... Uh, just because of that. Um, yeah, it, this does have move support. The entire first half of the stream was... We were using the move controllers, and we switched over to DualShock 4. And I have to say, uh, it controls much, much better with the DualShock 4. It's easier to uh, to, to look around and to, to do everything that you need to do. Yeah, it's definitely a little fuzzy. Definitely a low resolution. Uh, I've been calling it very Brookhaven-like uh, so far. Uh, do I like horror or anime more? I don't think there's any... There's no comparison. Um, horror first. It age and blue Seems like that pig had a name after all. I'm a horror game fan first, and then anime second. Uh, so, if, uh, anime anime kind of comes and goes in my life. Um, I'll, I'll get into it for a brief stints, and then and then get out of it for sometimes years. Uh, but but horror is a mainstay. Like since day one, I feel like Back I've been. Then. In Africa and elsewhere, people were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. This narrator, man. In Montreal, mailboxes were blown up, abductions were carried out, and violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. But around here, in the great northernmost, all a man could do is curse out loud against the faraway evil and pray for the revolution to arise. That man, by any reckoning, was from that very stock. This guy has a lot to say about everything. Carl knew right away that the owner of this place wasn't a copper collector. No, this was a junk man's base of operations. The guy definitely seemed like quite the expert in scavenging scrap metal, with or without permission, surely. In the right hands, red metal could sell like hotcakes. Does this have an icon? The other one had an icon. Does this one have an icon? No. No icon for this one. Just the first one. It weirds me out. Are you sure? No icon? Alright. Okay. Yeah. Um... I think Adrian asked what video game company I'd work for if I could work for any video game company, and I and I gotta say I I, I don't I don't want to work for a video game company. Uh, I like to play games. I don't like to make games. Uh, and the only the only thing I would do is you know go work for Capcom just to convince them to bring Rock music everything the in, minds to PSVR in the remotest of places. The man didn't own a turntable, though, so there's that going for him. Uh, so far, I would have to say that, yeah, I'd, I'd still recommend this game despite its faults, uh, because it's a game like no other. Like, we don't have anything else like this on PSVR. Uh, so it's cool, especially for the price point, uh, but but just just keep in mind uh, that it's, it's not perfect and that you will, you know, you have to work with the game to, to play it properly. So we're getting outhouse here. Uh, I'm I'm just not a sports fan, uh, so checking out that kind of stuff doesn't really even appeal to me. Uh, I've ch I've checked out some, like, I've checked out some VR stuff, uh, some VR video stuff, in the past, and uh, and while it's good, uh, I don't think we're quite where I want to be with it yet. 
Uh, but, but yeah, I've uh, I heard that there was a a way to watch the World Cup in VR. An axe, not too shabby. Carl felt he needed to protect himself. Okay, we get some we get some trash cans open here. Picking up some matches. Beer bottle. Can we pick up the Coke bottles? No, 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 just the beer. All right, we have our priorities. They have been set. Swing hatchet. Well, sure. Uh, we saw a couple wolves run away earlier, Matthew, uh, but they were running away. They weren't. They weren't attacking. Uh, so so far so good. What do you think all the blue stuff is? Should we follow the wolf tracks? I, I don't think we should. All right. Well, let's, let's hop back in. Apparently, this is pretty open-ended. There's no, uh, there's no real objective currently for me. So we'll hop back on the road and uh, we'll head to that next house over there. <laughs> right. This is I like I like the driving. The, I've. I don't, there's not enough driving in Carl VR games. Carl in his hand some awful sugar alcohol, but rather than drink it, he told himself it could be useful. He only had to be wary. Let's drink it. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so we're going to, let's take our next... I don't know where we've been and where we haven't. Let's take our next left, I guess. I don't know. Put the map away. Uh, the driving with the move controls was awful. It wasn't... It's, it certainly wasn't what you'd want it to be. Like, you weren't gripping the steering wheel. Uh, it was... <laughs> it, it was... You'd, you'd hold the trigger down. What's up, Mega Dollar Dog? You'd hold the trigger down to accelerate... And then, uh, and then the, use the top two face buttons to turn left and right. It, it didn't feel very good, but at least this uses the analog stick, so it's a little closer to what you'd expect. This looks like a new location for us, so let's park the car here. Park the car, as the king would say. And we'll get out. Hey, rookie, hurry it up! Robert Meadows, I have no fucking idea what this game is supposed to be. I've been playing it for an hour and I still don't know it what it's supposed so to be. Cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Oh. Whoa! Fuck! Whoa, my banana. <laughs> Whoa, burner burn. Is you think he's gonna talk to me or is he just gonna shoot at me if I try to take a step forward? He doesn't seem like he's Putting the gun down. Can we talk? Je pas à scanner en genre ton tis par ici. Moi de dire, je prends plus de chance depuis que ça roule dans ce bout-là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt et puis bang 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 si ça s'approche. It's like my comments and the uh, the net. Everything's all in the same place. So I have no idea what he said. Tu marches, tu marches, tu marches, tu sens les pieds. <laughs> for 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 what a for a guy who's ready to shoot me when I walked in, he doesn't seem like he's like protecting his stuff or anything.
Uh, if he's trying to make me dance, then he's obviously never seen me dance before. Because that is not something that anybody would want to see. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the full. This is the full game, Conquer Live. Um, so you can get the game for fifteen bucks, or if you already have it, uh, it's five bucks. Uh, I don't know what language it is. I'm assuming since we're up in Canada, he he definitely sounds like he has a French accent. Do you think we can chop his head off with the axe? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Un petit gars de quartier dans ma maison. He, he definitely sounds very City of Lost Children, so I'm assuming French. I don't think we're going to get much else out of this place. Can we take the coat? Ah. I'll give him caribou. Si tu veux du linge chaud parce que tu es habillé comme un gars de la ville, je dirais pas non à une bonne bouteille de caribou. Pitchy, je reçois. I thought I, I thought I already got it. <laughs> caribou. There we go. Now we can give him the caribou for the coat. Oh, quand on cherche, on trouve. Parce que je t'aime bien, Astor, va te dire quelque chose. Yeah, this is like a, a six hour game, six, seven hour game. So, uh, so for 15 bucks or for 20 bucks, if you don't, uh, with the patch. This is not. This is actually a pretty decent deal. And this this coat should keep us warm. Uh, things are things are starting to look up for us. I, w I wish he'd stop pointing that gun at us, though. That's not a uh, not instilling me with much faith. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, la belle pétarade! En 17 que c'était. I don't know. Is it is it possible to get burned with Dark Legion? It's it's like ten bucks, and I definitely think you can get ten bucks, ten dollars of fun out of that game. Uh, it's it's not great, but like, it, I definitely, I definitely blasted through it and and, and had fun, um, even if it wasn't very good. Looking forward to the games cast. Uh, what? Robert, uh, Gamescast comes back next week, uh, next Tuesday, I want to say that's the 26th, and it's, uh, oh, I didn't check out this little shed, and it will be live at 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, that, that's been, that, that's, that's the goal. Uh, I don't have the key, do you think we can find a key somewhere? So hopefully, hopefully by next week I'll have all my shit together, and I will be able to run a live stream without any problems. Uh, and, uh, and, and we can... Yeah, seriously, how did I... I, I feel like I, <laughs> I've been trying to be really clear with the messaging on, uh, on the midnight, on the return of the games cast. Um, I, I've, I've mentioned it in, like, every single video about it. But, uh, but yeah, I think the 26th is... Is it, is the day that we're looking for. Oh, wait, we wanted a bottle. Wow, <laughs> there's gonna be a key around here somewhere. It's alright, Robert. I'm I'm I've got no idea what day of the week it is. Uh, King Stuff, that's what we were just talking about, dude. The Games Cast is returning next week, next Tuesday, a week from today. Uh, it'll be a live show from now on. And, uh... 
Live every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. A door giveaway. I don't know what that is, so no, we're not. No door giveaway. Oh wait, where'd this door come from? A diaper. Yeah, John, John Mac. That's uh, that that was one of the reasons that uh, that we thought doing the Games Cast Live would be, would work out okay for everybody, because it's you know it's it's not four o'clock in the morning for for most of our viewers. Um, So it, most, I think most of our viewers are either in the U.S. or the U.K. So at least it's in the middle of the day. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be at work or whatever, um, but 1 p.m. is at least close to a lunch break. Noon is at least close to a lunch break. I don't think we're going to find the key around here. No, only click turning for this game. And... Uh, only click turning and, and it doesn't seem like there's pro support. From Spain. Wow. Right on. That's cool, Sergio. Uh, I don't know what time the game's cast will be when it's live there, but uh, but hopefully you are able to tune in live. If not, it, of course, it'll be up on YouTube uh, when we're done. Um, hey, Sean, thanks for... Thanks for tuning in from France holy shit we got people from all over the fucking world right now that is that is always that always it's always incredible to me the old man's cabin had been very generous to Carl he couldn't have asked for more it's incredible to me that we have viewers from like all over the world uh, it's it's you know like without parole is 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 bigger and, and and better than I than I ever thought it would be. Um, Australia, fucking phenomenal. Russia, fuck, dude, it's insane. Ireland, <laughs> wow. UK, right on. This is it. Germany, and you, you guys are you guys are what? Taipei. Jesus, you guys are like all over the place. Miami, hey, at least we're in the same time zone. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Absolutely amazing. I really do fucking love all of you. So, oops, I didn't mean to get out of the car. I didn't mean to get out of the car. Without borders, yeah, for sure. Um, also... Also, I, I do want to say, like, since I have some of you guys here, um, and, you, and you've expressed, you know, your love for the games cast, um, it's it. I, I'm, I missed, I missed doing the games cast, but Greece, nice. But I don't think I knew how much I was going to miss doing the games cast until until we went away from it for a little while, um, and I and I and I don't think I realized what the games cast actually meant to. Uh, to like our our loyal viewers, you know, like the loyal loyal game cats. Um, I this Pat this uh this this is as open world as it looks on this map here, which is yeah. It, it's a small open world, but it's a but it's a open world nonetheless. So I, I just want to say thank you guys for being patient while we bring back the games cast. Um, like I said, I, I don't. I don't think I really knew how much it meant to people, and uh, and I'm and I'm thrilled that people were very vocal about how much they wanted it to come back. So much exploring to do. Alright, <laughs> just gonna crash right into that instead of slowing down. Uh, we've already been here, obviously. 
Let's check the map real quick here. Um, so let's... Eventually we're gonna have to get around this tree. Or wait, can we get around the tree? Well, I will not let you down. Every Tuesday for forever, we will be here. Even if it's just me. <laughs> Even if the other two can't make it, I promise you. We will definitely... We, we have a lot of time to make up for. Um, so I, I never want to do another week without the games cast. And doing it live means I won't have 20 hours of editing to do anymore. So that's that was the important part to me was that I want to I want to put out a, a fun show like so that you guys can all interact with us while we film it. Um, you will, we'll go for like an hour every week and we'll just we'll have a blast and then I won't have to like edit then I won't have to like edit for 20 hours afterwards. So satellite navigation I don't I don't think I have satellite navigation is that a thing? All right, let's see. Let's see if there's anything on the right here. I think there's supposed to be. Denmark. Uh, Slyhound, I'm gonna say, gamer tag, what's up, dude? I I'm gonna say that if you bought the, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna say that if you bought the, uh... The physical version, if there's a physical version, I guess there is someplace, uh, I, I was unaware that there was a physical version, if that's the case. I, I'm assuming you'll, you'll still have to pay the the upcharge. you have to pay the 5 or $6 or whatever it is to get the PSVR patch. You know, for a low-res game, I'm really enjoying this. Okay. Yeah, the, so... Th so European Territories has a physical release of this. That's cool. Oh, what does the note say? I uh, no action yet, but uh, but it, it's definitely it a uh, classic Canadian house except for the absent horde of kids that would normally be swarming about. The, the graphics are... So here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Somehow this game manages to look... manages to look good, right? And the, the insides, the interiors are all pretty diverse. They all look much different than each other. And, uh, but, but they do shimmer quite a bit. They're very low res. Um... The, the graphics are nice. You've heard they're smooth turning. Uh, I couldn't find it. it it's, it's very possible there is, but uh, I will show you if you want it, me to show you the options. Those are the options. <laughs> That's for the graphics. Controls. Button prompts. Tool tips, crosshair, head bob, invert Y axis. And that's it. If there is smooth turning, dude, let me know uh, where, where to find that on any of the menus that I've experienced so far. I'll turn camera camera sensitivity up. I'm more than happy to to do that. I was I I mean to be honest, I assume that yeah, I assume that with VR that it wasn't going to have an effect. Which it didn't. Yeah, it was worth a shot. I, I don't. I'm more than happy to. Uh, I have to give everything a shot here because 
you know, this is this is my first impression video. I'm I'm no I'm no expert on this. Just one more move and White is checkmated. Game over. It seems the game was abandoned right before the final strike came down. I think the other drawers are openable. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely good, man. It's definitely good. We need we need more games like this. We need more games to be ported from uh, from their you know their flat versions. Uh, and the fact that this was a PS4 game originally and then got ported over, uh, I think that's awesome. Yeah, so far we've only had to to deal with our uh with with the cold factor. Uh Paul was in the uh Paul was in the chat when we when I first started this and said that there was no smooth turning option, that it was only click turning. Uh Thank you, Brad. I appreciate you I appreciate that. Uh Thanks for watching and stuff. Yeah, like I said, if, if anybody knows something that I don't know about smooth turning, uh, then please let me know. Let me know where to find that. Uh, I'll be happy to turn it on. I would be thrilled to use it. In fact, if I can start a fire here. Like I said, Paul, Paul was in the chat when I first started this and, uh, and confirmed with me that it was only, that it was click turning only. Um, so unless he discovered something, unless he discovered something in the, in the last hour, uh, then, then that, that, that was the last update I got from him. Ah, uh, yeah, this was, this was sort of unexpected. This was sort of unexpected. We didn't, we didn't know that this was coming until yesterday, basically. Uh, Conquer, I was I was seeing on uh, on HLTB that this game, you know, for a first playthrough would only take about six or seven hours or so. Um, so I'm not I'm not expecting to get ten hours out of it, but even for even if it was only five or six hours, uh, I would be extremely happy with that because this is this is a pretty chill game. Oh, I was waiting for that to happen. All right, so the game is saved. So let's 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 do a little investigation work. No, I don't think it seems like there's any cooking in this game. No, this does not seem like a scary game. Uh, it's it's interesting. Right on. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, go back to the main menu and see if we can figure out this smooth turning issue. Uh, Mikey's saying this is part one, which is which is cool. Um, ships geek out. Yep. Absolutely, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely giving this one my stamp of approval, uh, as if it needed that. Uh, for, for the price, it's, it's a, you're getting a full game here. It's a little glitchy, keep that in mind. Um, and, and I do prefer using the, the DualShock 4 to the move controllers. Uh, you know, your opinion on that's going to vary, I'm sure. Alright, camera sensitivity, button prompts, tool tips, autosave, Hold on a second. Invert Y axis. Head bob. I don't even know why this is an option. 
We're going to turn it off just because it was on. Indeed, it's 1970s Northern Canada. Uh, and then free movement here because the other options are teleportation, and that's it. So those are all of the control options. Oops. Graphics, we have the gamma and the vignette, which obviously we do not want the vignette on. And then audio. Obviously nothing here. So yeah, this is uh, this is going for twenty bucks for the bundle. Uh, I, I've owned this game since March of last year, and it's just been sitting on my hard drive or, or big waiting for. Uh, right on, gamer tag. Uh, thanks for clarifying. That that way we uh, avoided trying to figure that out. We we changed all of the camera settings, uh, and uh, and and so it is absolutely confirmed. It is full locomotion, but click turning only. Um, <clears throat> I'm playing on a pro, but I'm playing on a pro, but this is oh no oh no wait <laughs> hold on a second how did I turn on how did that happen I accidentally turned on oh god no no somebody saved me okay fine I'm gonna take care of this real quick I'm playing on a pro but I don't think it's pro enabled I don't think there's a pro patch uh, this is it's, it's very low resolution for a pro game. But it looks good. Yeah, if, if an update comes, great. If it doesn't, I'm I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna, I guess, look a gift horse in the mouth. That's the expression, right? God damn it. Have to go all the way back to the menu for this? Alright. Okay, so there is another option here that I didn't realize. So it's free movement, node-based teleportation, which is you click to a specific place, and then there's free teleportation, which can't you allow, it tells, allows you to teleport anywhere. Um, free movement. Now we're back to where we want to be. Apply, apply. There we go. Uh, yeah, whoever asked about uh, about the aim controller, no, there's no aim support. Um, which, whatever. <laughs> uh, I can't I can't imagine playing this with an aim controller um, since it's not uh, since it's since it's you're not carrying like a weapon the whole time. It would feel kind of strange to like feel like you were holding like this gun that you're not holding in the game. Uh, but yeah, no. So far, so good. Anyone who's just tuning in, this is we're, we're having a we're having a pretty good time with this. It's a it's a fun puzzle solving adventure, murder mystery, point and click style old school adventure, uh, with click turning only, full locomotion, uh, and uh, and we get and it's it's a pretty open world. It, so let's uh, let's go hop back in the car. I don't think there's anything left to do here. I don't think, at least. Let's check over here. Make sure there's nothing I missed. With Savage Wolves as well. In 1970s Canada. JD Max, what's happening, buddy? Uh, yeah, this is out now. If you already bought the main game, it's like a $5 upgrade. But uh, but if you haven't, it's only 20 bucks for for the game and, uh, and the patch. JD, uh, it looks it looks good. It's not it's 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 not beautiful by any stretch of the imagination, but 
Look at this, we get to, we get to drive in VR, which I love. You can use the move controllers, but I definitely, for this, the, the DualShock 4 just feels better. Let's check the map and see where we are. Um, Jay, thanks for tuning in, buddy. Have a great day. Alright, we're going to go right here. Back on the road. I don't know if you can steal cars, but this is, it's very shining like, a good comparison. Our car is definitely doing the trick here. All right, so it's gonna be up here on the left hand side. We'll get rid of the map. A little bit of Fargo, yeah. The, this just proves like how cool driving, like obviously we've got like things like Drive Club and um, you know, Dirt Rally and stuff, so we knew that driving feels good in VR, but, ah, uh, oops. But, but driving but driving around in a game like where it's not racing it I think it's kind of incredible it just gives you this very cool feeling oh no this is back where we started wasn't it okay well at least I know where we started on the map then it's all starting to make sense now I uh, whoever asked about Albo uh, I've I I never had any any hope for Alvo. Alvo is developed by Mardenpole, and Mardenpole, the only thing they've ever done ever is Quiz Night Tonight. Why did I just go up here? I know there's nothing up here. Quiz Night Tonight is probably the worst game on PlayStation VR, um, and, it, and, it, and it proves that the developers do not have uh, the skills or maybe the resources to make the game make a game like Alvo. It's very possible they learned a few things. It's very possible they they uh, that they you know expand their development team. Anything is possible. I'll try to do some donuts here. I don't I don't know if we're gonna be able to. Here we go. Ready? Donut time. Uh, no donuts. Uh, well, I'm gonna be really stressed out then because I'm crashing a whole fucking lot. Alright, let's check the map again. Uh, so we want to get back on the road and go right. Man, getting up this hill is difficult. Yeah, I can look behind me. Absolutely. You can, I can look out the back window. See? Check it out. I'm not even looking at the road and I'm driving. The map letters. I don't know. I can I can there's little symbols on the map that uh that indicate that there's different places. I don't think Alvo's MIA. I think they just... If Mardenpole is still making the game... I don't I don't think that... Uh, I, I don't think it's going to be ready anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, good, good call, dude. To drive in Massachusetts, you have to be pretty fucking... You have to be... Pretty fucking crazy. I, I put chains on at the beginning, so I think I. Well, do you think those count as? Uh, you think those count as winter tires? Probably not. Oh, let's go down. Let's check them out. All right, so I, what we want to do is want to let's see if we can stay on the road. 
There's a tree in the road here. We can drive around the gas station here. Take it easy, gamer tag. Alright, so I'm just gonna Yep, friend, uh you must you must have just what's up, Reese? Thanks for uh thanks for stopping in. Uh, for anyone who just joined the stream, uh, I've been saying this kind of incessantly, so I apologize to anyone who's been watching the whole time. But the graphics are pretty low res. Uh, driving looks really nice, strangely. But, oh, 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 hey. Let's get out of the car. I, I'm pretty sure this is not pro-enabled. This, this looks like, this looks like the Brookhaven experiment. The trap was fresh. That meant the car sunk down just a little while ago. Now, where the hell could the passengers possibly have gone? Alright, looks like we're going to manage our photographs as well. Well, Solo Fred, like I just said, the I don't think this is PlayStation 4 for Pro... I don't think this is PS4 Pro patched, uh, or PS4 Pro enabled. Um, so I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure this game is going to look the same uh, regardless of what system you played on. Obviously, I haven't played it myself on the PS4 proper. Uh, so I'm just guessing, but this looks like pretty standard stuff. Is there no crouch button? I don't think there's a, a crouch Ford button. Rogers, Carl's long-standing and faithful ally has seen a share oh, of husbands wait, cut red hair. There's a jump button there's and the crouch button. I've been playing this for so two hours without knowing there's a jump button. I was trying to walk over the dead body earlier, and I couldn't. I didn't know there was a jump button. I can walk all over everything. Holy fuck. I can jump. I can crouch. I can jump. I can crouch. Woo! This is so much fun. <laughs> it's like Windlands, except very, very limited. No, um... Alright. Cool, well, now I'm... Now that I know the controls, I mean, the controls aren't perfect, but but they work fine. Uh, it's just managing the inventory and all that stuff. It's uh, I'm I'm sure I, I feel like there's always a better way to do things than 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 the way they actually implement them. But it's all good. Someone must have dropped this in a hurry, but whoever did was heading into the woods. Carl's tracking instincts were quickly kicking in. Someone must have dropped this in a hurry, but whoever did was heading into the woods. Carl's tracking instincts were quickly kicking in. Yep, there's move, there's move support for this. Uh, I was using two move controllers for the first half of the stream, um, and uh, and it works fine. You know, you have you have two hands uh, to pick things up with, and you know, interacting with the world uh, it feels pretty good. And um, and it's that's it, man. Like I just I. It just feels a little bit better to to play this with the Dual Shock Four. I don't know if I should be following these tracks, man. I, I don't. I don't think. What about the FPS? Oh, oh, oh! Carl felt engulfed by a wave of cold. Come on! For a second thought he was fainting. What is going on? Four phantasmagoric figures were fixing their gaze on him. What the hell was going on? What's up, Nonsa? Oh. I didn't know I was in control. This looks like a cutscene. Yeah, the the frames... The FPS uh, for for PlayStation VR is a minimum of 60 frames a second. Uh, sorry if I didn't answer that. Um, but yeah, you never really have to worry too much about frame rate in, in PSVR games. 
there are a couple of, of exceptions, of course. Uh, you know, I was talking about some frame rate drops in the assembly. I have indeed entered the astral plane. I mean, can I can I leave the area? The Thanks, Nonsa. Away from the ice block, we'll see you soon, buddy. More his senses came back to him. All right. Well, let's get back to uh, let's get back to the car. That's cool. There's a lot more going on in this game than I uh, than I initially thought there would be. Should I be photographing this stuff too? You think? Who knows? I don't really know what I'm supposed to photograph. Chevrolet. Chevrolet. <laughs> Is this where the road ends? Am I not allowed to go further than this? This is where it stops. All right, well, let's turn around. You guys are lucky today. Um, in my Jeep, there's no radio. Someone stole it like years ago, and I never replaced it. Um, and so I just sing constantly in the car. And so when I'm driving, like my first instinct is to just start singing something random. Um, Man, you guys are super duper lucky that I'm not doing that to you right now. Uh, I mean, we've seen a bit of the survival elements, right? Uh, <laughs> it's almost like Chevrolet. It's just not quite. Yeah, I like it. I like it, man. Definitely, if, if you if you want a nice slow-paced adventure game that's sort of open world, um, a wintry atmosphere surrounded the house. The soundlessness of the area suggested it was empty. When finding a boot, one wonders what became of the foot. Well, we we found the other boot, right? Is he not putting the pieces together about this himself? Definitely blurry. Definitely low res. But I'm not complaining. I, I, I actually, I like the look of this game quite a bit. Even though it's a little rough around the edges. Oh. Oh. It's all dark and stuff. Pull our flashlight. I wonder if something bad's gonna happen. Uh, Justin, so that's the uh, that's the whole point of the game. It seems like uh, to just to drive around and explore and uh, and pick up everything you can, and uh, and that's all I've actually done so far. I, I I don't I don't really have an answer for you, bud, because I, I haven't I haven't made much like actual progress. If I, if I wasn't streaming, I'd actually be reading this. But I don't think reading every little piece of paper I pick up is good for for a live stream. Only the tormented mind smoke in bed. That's interesting. I used to smoke in bed all the time. I'm not a smoker anymore, but... Um, I was for a long time. I was I was like a two pack a day smoker for, um, Jesus, fifteen years. Yeah, I just stop the truck and then hit circle or square or something. Uh, you can you can stop whenever you want to. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm. Okay, well, whoever asked if this was a scary game, I think I just changed my mind.
seems a little strange that I can't pick that up. Um, so it looks like this has uh, something scary going on. Such a way that indicated a rude awakening, followed by a hurried escape. What had happened here? Oh, oh! Is this a is this a game about a monster? This game's getting better by the second. Is this a scary game after all? Seriously, I, I'm liking this game more and more every single second. And how did I can jump? Oh, they only jump inside. Oh, I was gonna start jumping around the house. That's enough out of you, Conker. We don't need you teasing us. What the hell do you think that is? Whoa! That was a wolf who just opened the door. I didn't know wolves knew how to open doors. And how the hell do you bring up the, uh, I'm trying to be prepared here. There we go. Uh, this is definitely a better game than The Exorcist, but The Exorcist was fucking scary as all fuck. Um. What's up, Roy? God, anybody know how long I've been streaming this for? Is anybody even watching this? <laughs> I've, I've been seeing the sporadic comments and everything, but like, there could be like 10 of you. I have, I have no idea. A bit of reading the past of time, some bathroom reading. I'm a big fan. Looks like broken mirror here. Yep. Two hours. Damn. The bulb is burned out. Oh, I know you're watching, buddy. Um, 76. Oh wow, actually, that's way more than I expected. What's up to all 76 of you? Nice. Yeah, I do have some stuff to do. Uh. Des Money in a jar. What a shame. Carl would have loved cookies. <laughs> Des and I have to film tonight, and I uh, and I need to go and I, I need to I need to prepare for, for for the show. Uh, BMX. There's uh, there are, apparently are there are wolves, and uh, I have a crowbar, so. So I may very well a pay stuff for some undoubtedly harsh lumberjack work. I may very well be beating the fuck out of some wolves soon. They felled trees and chopped woods for cloutier et fils. Oh, oh. The key, which seemed to be meant for a padlock. Wait, did we see? An inscription reading cloutier et fils. Hmm, a company name. Better keep an eye open. Businesses weren't exactly numerous around these parts. Um, the Exorcist and Paranormal Activity VR are two very, very different games. Um, the Spirograph amused Carl. It was a nice modern toy, aside from being repetitive by nature and completely useless. Still, it found its way into many Quebecois homes. Oh, you know what? We didn't. Why don't we start a fire? There we go. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't have any bottles uh, until just now. So, uh, so, so now that we have bottles, we can fill them up. What's you? What's up, Bureau Lady? I feel like I mispronounce your name every single time.
money in a jar. Yeah, what a shame. we'd prefer cookies. Would have loved cookies. Uh, let's double check upstairs. Because I don't remember there being anything with a lock on it, but better safe than sorry. Let's go check that out. You're a lady. Good. Woohoo! Finally did something right today. Uh, delusion of grandeur, yeah, I've heard different things. Uh, HLTB.com calls this a six hour game. Uh, we've heard things. A window left open in that weather? Perhaps something had to be watched. We've heard upwards of like 10 hours, if that's, uh, if that's a possibility. So, uh, but, it, but that's all it is. It's like when, you, when you're given this like open world and not given much in the way of direction, uh, then I can totally see how it could take anywhere from six to ten hours because you could just be backtracking and wandering around aimlessly. Who, who knows? You know, if you're uh, if, if you're not like looking for help and stuff uh, online, which you know obviously you never do unless you had to. What's up, Death Barded? The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. All right, well, I guess, I guess it's time to finally leave this house. Uh, although we did see some wolves, so who knows if there'd be wolves out here. The tire swing in full effect. Uh, E3 was a total disappointment for me. And... It's Conquer. You're trying to tell me it's going to take me 20 fucking hours to play this game? Wait, I have a key. I guess it's not the right key. I think Xbox had the best conference. Uh, Nintendo was second. I think Sony was super lame. There was a lot of downtime. They showed games. They didn't have a lot of awesome reveals. Uh, and they showed games that we were... Uh, they, I don't even think... like When they showed Death Stranding, uh, even, even Ghost of Tsushima... Um, like they they showed they showed a lot of gameplay footage, but they they didn't do much to impress me uh, for, on those games. So I don't know. I I lost interest in non VR gaming a while ago, so I, I don't know if there was anything they could have shown me to to make me interested in those games. But that was just my impression. Yeah, I'm sure the story of Death Stranding is going to be incredible, and I'm sure the actual moment to moment gameplay will be good. But man, they just showed people wandering around. Uh, so, like, ca like trailing some stuff behind them, like a little little red wagon kind of shit. Um, I don't know. Oh, I didn't mean to get out. I did this last time, too. Yeah, I'm, d well, the biggest, one of my biggest problems with, uh, with Sony's show was the presentation, for sure. Alright, I don't really know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, so... I think this is gonna- I think this is gonna kinda do it for the, uh... For the stream. Uh, Fran, the- the- the move controllers were pretty lame when it came to driving. I- I was holding- I was holding down, uh, the trigger to accelerate, uh, and then using two face buttons to- to turn. Uh, this on with the DualShock 4 definitely feels a little more natural. Um, all right, you guys, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, I, I got to get some work done. Maybe it's finally time for Brian to try Rec Royale. I've played I've, I've played ten hours of Rec Royale. What are you talking about? You're crazy. Ten hours of Rec Royale. Uh, Des and I are going to film next week's episode of Why We Love PSVR, and uh, and I and I actually got to go to uh, I actually got to go finish the game that we're going to talk about tonight uh, I've got a I've got a long way to go so that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day I'm going to go play more PSVR games and then Des and I are going to film later tonight so you guys have a fantastic day thank you so much for tuning in uh, and obviously uh, if I find time you know I'll do my best with uh, Sculptor VR if I can find time to either stream that or review it I'll do uh, I'll do what I can 
this is this is a great game. This is a great game. It obviously has some issues. Uh, for anyone looking for a recommendation for 20 bucks, you're going to get your money's worth. That's for sure. Uh, if you like the slow-paced, point-and-click style adventure game, if you want to drive around an open world, this might be the game for you. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I fucking love each and every single one of you. Bye.